Abdul Hafiz Muhammad Barakatullah, known with his honorific as Maulana Barakatullah, c. the 7th of July 1854 to the 20th of September 1927, was an Indian revolutionary with sympathy for the pan-Islamic movement. Barkatullah was born on the 7th of July 1854 at ITWRA Mohalla Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, India. He fought from outside India with fiery speeches and revolutionary writings in leading newspapers for the independence of India. He did not live to see India independent. In 1988, Bhopal University was renamed Barkatullah University in his honour. <laughs> Early life <laughs> Policy of revolution While in England he came in close contact with Lala Hardale and Raja Mahendra Pratap, son of the Raja of Hathras. He became a friend of Afghan Amir and the editor of the Kabul newspaper Sirajul ul Akbar. He was one of the founders of the Ghadar Party in 1913 at San Francisco. Later he became the first Prime Minister of the Provisional Government of India established on 1 December 1915 in Kabul with Raja Mahendra Pratap as its president. Barkatula went to several countries of the world with a mission to rouse politically the Indian community and to seek support for the freedom of India from the famous leaders of the time in those countries. Prominent amongst those were Kaiser Wilhelm II, Amir Habibullah Khan, Muhammad Resht, Ghazi Pasha, Lenin, and Hitler. In England, in 1897, Barakatullah was seen attending meetings of the Muslim Patriotic League. Here, he came across other revolutionary compatriots around Shyamji Krishnavarma. After about a year spent in America, in February 1904 he left for Japan, where he was appointed professor of Hindustani at the University of Tokyo. In the autumn of 1906, at 1 West 34th Street in New York City, a Pan-Aryan association was formed by Barakatullah and Samuel Lucas Joshi, a Maratha Christian, son of the late Reverend Lucas Maloba Joshi. It was supported by the Irish revolutionaries of the clan Nagale, the anti-British lawyer Myron H. Phelps and of the equally anti-British Swami Abedananda who continued the work of Swami Vivekananda. According to a report in the Gaelic American, in June 1907, a meeting of Indians, held in New York, passed resolutions repudiating the right of any foreigner Mr. Morley to dictate the future of the Indian people, urging their countrymen to depend upon themselves alone and especially on boycott and Swadeshi, condemning the deportation of Lajpat Rai and Ajit Singh, and expressing detestation of the action of the British authorities in openly instigating one class of Indians against another at Jamalpur and other places. Source, Kerr, p. 225. More vehement was his letter in Persian, which appeared in the Urdu Mu'alla of Aligarh, U.P., in May 1907, in which Barakatullah strongly advocated the necessity for unity between Hindus and Muslims, and defined the two chief duties of Muslims as patriotism and friendship with all Muslims outside India. This prophetic argument preceded by four years the publication of Germany and the Coming War, by Bernhardi, warning England to be aware of the extreme danger represented by the unity of Hindu and Muslim extremists in Bengal, as reported by the Rolet Commission Chapter 7, he thought that the performance of both these duties depended entirely upon one rule of conduct, namely concord and unity with the Hindus of India in all political matters, Kerr, p. 226. On 16 August 1908 arrived from Kolkata Bupendra Nath Datta, Vivekananda's hot-blooded brother. Invited by George Freeman to edit the Free Hindustan from the Gaelic American newspaper office, Taraknath Das went to New York to join his old colleague Datta. In March 1909 Barakatullah left again for Japan. <laughs> Activities in Japan Early in 1910, he started the Islamic Fraternity in Tokyo. In June–July to July 1911 he left for Constantinople and Petrograd, returned to Tokyo in October and published an article referring to the advent of a great pan-Islamic alliance including Afghanistan which he expected to become the future Japan of Central Asia. In December he converted to Islam three Japanese, his assistant Hassan U. Hatanao, his wife, and her father, Baron Kentaro Hiki. This is said to be the first conversion to Islam in Japan. 
In 1912, Barakatullah became at once more fluent in his use of the English language and more anti-British in his tone, observes Kerr, p. 133. Discussing in his paper the Christian combination against Islam, Barakatullah singled out the Emperor William of Germany as really the one man who holds the peace of the world as well as the war in the hollow of his hand. It is the duty of the Muslims to be united, to stand by the Caliph, with their life and property, and to side with Germany. Quoting a Roman poet, Barakatullah reminded that the Anglo Saxons had been sea wolves, living on the pillage of the world. The difference in modern times was the added refinement of hypocrisy which sharpens the edge of brutality. On the 6th of July 1912, the entry of the paper into India was prohibited before the Japanese government suppressed it. Meanwhile, since September, copies of another paper called El Islam appeared in India, continuing Barakatullah's political propaganda. On the 22nd of March 1913, its importation was prohibited in India. In June 1913, copies were received in India of a lithographed Urdu pamphlet, The Sword is the Last Resort. On 31 March 1914 Barakatullah's teaching appointment was terminated by the Japanese authorities. It was followed by another similar leaflet, Faringi Ka Fareb, the deceit of the English, according to Kerr, p. 135, it surpassed in violence Barakatullah's previous productions, and was modelled more on the style of the publications of the Ghadar Party of San Francisco with whom Barakatullah now threw in his lot. The Ghadar episode In May 1913, G.D. Kumar had sailed from San Francisco for the Philippine Islands and had written from Manila to Taraknath Das, I am going to establish base at Manila P.I. forwarding depot, supervise the work near China, Hong Kong, Shanghai. Professor Barakatullah is all right in Japan, Kerr, P. 237. On the 22nd of May 1914, Barakatullah returned to San Francisco with Bhagwan Singh alias Natha Singh, the Granthi priest of the Sikh temple at Hong Kong and joined the Yugantar ashram and worked with Taraknath Das. With the outbreak of the war in August 1914, meetings were held at all the principal centers of the Indian population from Asia in California and Oregon, and funds were raised to go back to India and join the insurrection. Barakatullah, Bhagwan Singh, and Ramchandra Bharadwaj were among the speakers. Portland, Oregon Telegram, the 7th of August 1914, Fresno Republican, the 23rd of September 1914. Reaching Berlin on time, Barakatullah met Chato or Varendranath Chattopadhyay and cited Raja Mahendra Pratap in the mission to Kabul. Their role was significant in indoctrinating with anti-British feelings the Indian prisoners of war held by Germany. They arrived at Herat on 24 August 1915 and were given a royal reception by the governor. <laughs> Government of Free India On 1 December 1915, Pratap's 28th birthday, he established the first provisional government of India at Kabul in Afghanistan, during First World War. It was a government in exile of free Hindustan with Raja Mahendra Pratap as president, Maulana Barkatullah, Prime Minister, Maulana Ubaidullah Sindhi, Home Minister. Anti-British forces supported his movement. But, for some obvious loyalty to the British, the Emir kept on delaying the expedition. Then they attempted to establish relations with foreign powers, Kerr, P305. In Kabul, the Siraj ul Akbar in its issue of 4 May 1916 published Raja Mahendra Pratap's version of the mission and its objective. He stated, His Imperial Majesty the Kaiser himself granted me an audience. Subsequently, having set right the problem of India and Asia with the Imperial German government, and having received the necessary credentials, I started towards the east. I had interviews with the Khedive of Egypt and with the princes and ministers of Turkey, as well as with the renowned Enver Pasha and His Imperial Majesty the Holy Caliph, Sultan ul Muazim. I settled the problem of India and the East with the Imperial Ottoman government, and received the necessary credentials from them as well. German and Turkish officers and Malvi Barakatullah Sahib were went with me to help me, they are still with me." Unable to take Raja Mahendra Pratap seriously, Jawaharlal Nehru later wrote in an autobiography, p. 151. He seemed to be a character out of medieval romance, a Don Quixote who had strayed into the 20th century. 
Under pressure from the British, the Afghan government withdrew its help. The mission was closed down. 